welcome to another video. Um, in the last one, I showed you how you could make a dynamic table using Jet Engine. Um, for this dynamic table, we've created a, a query first, and the query was made up so that the posts were uh, sorted automatically, chronologically, from the first date to the last date, and the, the date was a, a custom um, field that I've put uh, in also with the use of the Jet Engine plugin. In this video, it's the same table, so the same query. Let me show you the page where it's displayed. Let's view the page. So this is the table that I've made in the last video. If you want to see how I've made this, you can check it out here. Uh, so you see course 2, 3, 4 and 1. Uh, you see the order is chronologically by starting date. That was the thing that we set up. In this video, I will make it so that whenever the date is crossed by this date is passed by the current date, it will automatically be removed from the table. So you don't have to worry about the front end anymore and uh, everything will be automatically removed whenever it's not relevant anymore. Um, it will still be here in the back end. So if I go to my courses, these are the ones that are uh, in the table now. Um, so it will still be available here, but it won't be shown in the table in the front end. I will first add a new one, uh, course number five, just um, with the date of today, yeah, so I can show you then that it disappears. And I will click on publish, put some stuff here, publish. So if I go back to my table page and refresh course five, you see it automatically adds in with, uh, and it's on spot number one because it's the first date. And this is the date of today currently. So um, I'm gonna show you how it can be made so that it disappears whenever it crosses a certain uh, date. We go back to our jet engine query builder, not our table builder, but our query builder. This is the one I've already made. Again, I've made set this up in the last post. Um, I'm going to, so now you see there are five in our preview. So these are all the posts. And now it's ordered by meta value, um, met, num numeric meta value. Uh, and the one that I've put in is a starting date from lowest to highest. So this is the one that I've had now. Uh, the thing we're going to do now is make a meta query first, add a new one. Um, and we're going to, pick the a meta field and the field is again our starting date and we're going to set it up like this and we're going to compare it whenever it is equal then um, we can set up different ones one we can do is uh, equal but then it will only disappear whenever the date is equal so if I uh, the date of today it will be this one will be gone today but then tomorrow the date is going to change it's going to be the 19th of october and then it's not going to be equal anymore so it will pop up again so we can't pick um, equal we can't pick not equal as well no. whenever the date is greater than or equal so whenever this date is greater than or equal the date of today it will be uh, shown and the value we click on the little icon here on the right you see and we're going to pick today so it will al always compare the starting date whenever the starting date is greater than or equal than today um, it will be uh, shown and then timestamp is the one we want uh, there's also something you should set up in your custom post type as well i've shown this in the last video as well and now we just give this a name um, update by date or whatever you want to call it, update query. And then we go back to general and we can, instead of order by this, I will remove it, add a new sorting parameter, and then we're going to check the meta clause one. And then it should show up update by date. This is the one that I just made. And an order is still from lowest to highest, update the query. So now I've put it in that it's greater than or equal, so it shouldn't change anything here. Oh, I've done something wrong. Let's have a look. So you see, I've made a, a little mistake. Um, uh, the thing I've put in here, jet engine meta field, this is the right one, starting date, but it should be the field name, key or ID uh, and not the field uh, value. So then it works. So you can always check this if you click on apply and then uh, do the preview. Then you see this has the posts in it. There are five uh, items, so that's correct. Whenever I've 
when I change this to again the value, click on apply, you see it's completely gone. So now here you can check uh, live uh, before you publish it on the front end. You already see if it's going to work or not. So this was a little mistake. The return should be the field name key ID. Apply. We have five uh, items now. Uh, the timestamp should be uh, enabled. Um, and if I change this to greater than and not equal, then you will see the first one um, that I've put in today. That's um, course number five. You see it here. It should disappear because and you see now course number two is the first one so because the starting date has to be greater than today and the starting date of course number five is not greater than it is let's click on update there we go and let's click on refresh and now you see even though I've put in course number five, you see course number two, three, four, and number one. So the table is exactly the same as it was before because I've chosen that the starting date should be greater than today. And today is the 18th and the starting date of course number five is also the 18th. So it's not greater than anymore, it's equal. So it's gone from the table and this will work automatically whenever it crosses the 25th of October, it will also, this one will automatically disappear and it will keep doing that whenever it's not greater than anymore. Yeah. So you can change it if I put it back to greater than or equal update it and I put the previews back on you see course 5 is back here and it will also if I update and refresh here you will see it's back here so now it will be gone tomorrow because now it's still it's not greater than but it's still equal to today because today is the 18th and this is also the 18th so tomorrow it will change it will be the 19th of October and this will not be greater than or equal and then it will be gone so you can set it up so that it's it's still shown the day of the starting date or you can also make it so if you just pick greater than that it's uh, only on the front end whenever it's not the current date voila this was a really easy one uh, so check out the last video if you're not sure how to make the table it's uh, an easy one um, and then you can uh, make this query with the meta clause to um, update your post or your table thanks for watching uh, leave a like and comment uh, and subscribe this helps me a lot um, and see you in the next one bye bye